Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a cross table or contingency table using Microsoft Excel. Uh, my data is stored in columns A and B and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, figure out which categories were actually in there. So Ctrl C and Ctrl V in column D E. Then I only select column D, go to the data ribbon and then select remove duplicate. I don't want to expand the selection and then say remove duplicates it select the first one my data does have headers and that's okay and now i can actually see which ones are actually in there i can do the same for the gender column so i'll select column e again remove duplicates again continue with the current selection and simply click on ok I noticed that there was an NA and a don't know uh, use, so I will not be using those. And I can simply now copy and paste these. And for the gender, copy and go for home, paste and transpose so that they're nicely stored in the columns. These two are no longer really needed, so I can simply delete them. But like I can add here that this was actually a uh, gender. Now for the observed counts, I'm going to be using equals count ifs and the first uh, range is going to be the marital status, so that's column A and then a semicolon or comma depending on your settings and it's going to be the married. Then the second criteria is in the gender and that is going to be the one for male in this case. Now I can use some dollar signs to prevent when I copy paste uh, some ranges to be changing. So this range doesn't need to be changed. Press F4 and it will add the dollar signs. For this one, the column always needs to be E. So put a dollar sign in front of E or press F4 once, twice, three times. Also the B shouldn't change. So again, put dollar signs in there, press F4 and for this one the row shouldn't change so once twice to have only a dollar sign in front of the six press enter or control enter and it shows how many there are i can now simply right click copy and right click and say paste so these are all the observed counts i might call this one observed if you want, you can now also add the total for each row and each column. A fast way of calculating a total is by ALT equals, and that will give you the shortcut for the SUM function. You can copy paste this one, and here again ALT equals, and copy paste that. Now, if you want them as percentages, you can actually do that by well let's first put in the labels male female and all of these uh, that's and why not the totals as well uh, you can either do percentages based on the grand total and select the cell divide by the grand total and the grand total should never change so f4 dollar signs everywhere copy and paste and I want them as percentages, so on the home ribbon select the percentage. You can also use the row totals, row total percentage. Again, refer to the original data for the labels. And let's do uh, one more. So if I use the row total, it's going to be this value divided by this row and in this case the row number should not be fixed but the column should so a dollar sign in my example in front of the H copy paste and all of these are percentages and the last option would be to use the column totals column total similar as the previous one again the headers 
think one more yep but now we we'll use the original value of the cell divided by the total of the column and now we're going to press f4 one two three times uh, sorry four two times only because we want the row to be fixed and copy and paste and these are all percentages just a small check if it's done everything correct is to double click sometimes on some of them and press escape to get out of it again as you can see it seems to be working so this is uh, one fast way of actually generating a cross table or contingency table in Microsoft Excel